Hey guys, Case Day beat Missouri State 48 24. As you may know, Missouri State's from the FCS, so we had no problem with them this time, but I was kind of worried they might beat us because of the week one and this week two. The FBS teams were beating the F. The FC, FCS teams were beating the FBS teams like flies, so I was kind of nervous about them. So, but we kind of escaped with it, but a 24 point win. So, one of the uh, one of the articles that the one of the newspapers in Kansas wrote that K State's uh, record as of uh, yesterday, that K-State is record versus FCS, FCS team since 1989 is 16 and 1. That's with the, uh, that's including the game on September 11th or yesterday. So, as I'm looking through the stats, our defense was horrible, kind of. We gave up, we gave up, um, let's see here, we gave up, we gave up, uh, four. We gave up four. We gave up 446 yards on defense. We gave up less yards against UCLA last week. That's horrible. Even though we won, that was horrible. We did a whole lot better against UCLA in their nine-point win last week, and again, then with our 24 point point win this week. Gee manies. Our our total offense was we get we gained four hundred and ninety one yards of offense. But we balanced the offense out this time because we had more passing yards than we did the week, week before. We had uh two hundred eighty two hundred and eighty nine passing yards this this week against Missouri State then uh, last week with UCLA, which had like 64, 66 passing yards last week. And we had 202 rushing yards this week compared to two, about 300 last week. Over 300 last week. But Daniel uh, Carson Kaufman did a whole lot better last week in passing because last week he had 64 yards. This week he had 200 and 79 yards this week against Missouri State with three touchdowns and no interceptions. Well, Daniel Thomas had 22 rushes, 222 rushes with 148 yards compared to last week's 234 yards or 236 or whatever last, last week. But yeah, well, he's still a uh, number one running back to me and playing to the rest of the country but oh well Powell Colin, Colin Powell I think his name by his last name is Powell has four rushes with 49 yards with a touchdown so we kind of balanced our offense out and had more balanced time balanced offense this time so but we need to work on our defense because our defense, while well, doing that, giving up 400 yards does not help us with teams like Texas and Nebraska and Missouri and Kansas. So we need to calm our defense down and not give up much yards. So, well, on defense, we, had, we forced one fumble, I think. One there's some turnover, one fumble, and now there's one turnover. So, well, if I give a ranking, give a grade for each, a grade for each aspect of the game, I give the offense a A minus for improving <laughs> its work this time for balancing its for balancing itself. I give the defense a B. A B for slipping and giving up 400 and some odd yards. So 
I give and I give the special teams a A for doing what it's supposed to do, supposed to do. So so next week on September 18th we play, we go to Kansas City, Missouri at to Arrowhead Stadium to play uh, Iowa State Cyclones. Last year's meeting between Iowa State, K State beat them 24-23. Excuse me, 24-23, and we won last year because we blocked a game tying uh, extra point last year. And the guy, that, a different defensive player, that blocked the field goal, the extra point, game tying field goal was. The extra point, I mean, was Lamar. His last name was Lamar, I think. So, I'm really trying not to look ahead to Texas and Nebraska, but it's kind of hard not to. But I'm trying not to really focus on them yet until the time, their time is to face them is here. So, I really hope we go 3 and now next after next week by beating Iowa State Cyclones in Kansas City. So... That's all for free. that's all for me for now. Go stay, Emo.